dear students welcome to the english class how are you i am fine and hope the same for you are you completing your assignments complete your assignments daily and watch the videos carefully and regularly dear students yesterday we started the topic kinds of the sentences assertive sentences were defined in detail now let's move towards the board to learn more about the other kinds of the sentences children yesterday i taught you that there are four kinds of the sentences let's have a recap and look at the board there are four kinds of sentences yes dear students the sentences have four kinds one is assertive sentences another one is interrogative sentences third is imperative sentences and the fourth one is exclamatory sentences assertive sentences yesterday i told taught you about the assertive sentences in detail do you remember if you remember then it's fine if you don't remember then you listen it again dear students assertive sentences are those sentences which are telling something so we can say the telling sentences or the statements are known as assertive sentences jab hum kisi se kuch keh rahe hain kuch bata rahe hain ya fir kisi ko kuch inform kar rahe hain that is known as assertive sentence another one is interrogative sentences dear students next kind of sentences is interrogative sentences now i will explain interrogative sentences in detail at the board to know more about the interrogative sentences interrogative sentences and interrogative sentence asks a question or the asking sentences are called interrogative sentences means interrogative sentence jo hota hai wo humse kuch question puchta hai or we can say the asking sentences are called interrogative sentences matlab jo sentence humse kuch pooch rahe hain matlab jis sentence mein kisi se kuch poocha jata hai those sentences are known as interrogative sentences that's why the asking sentences are known as interrogative sentences the rule to write an interrogative sentence is that it always begins with the capital letter ye to aapko pehle bhi bataya hai ki koi bhi sentence ho chahe wo assertive ho interrogative ho इम्पेरेटिव हो या फिर एक्सक्लामेटरी हो सारे के सारे सेंटेंसेस ऑलवेज बिगेन विद द कैपिटल लेटर सो द इंटेरोगेटिव सेंटेंस ऑलवेज बिगेन विद द कैपिटल लेटर एंड अ क्वेश्चन ऑलवेज एंड विद एन इंटेरोगेशन मार्क कोई भी जो क्वेश्चन होता है it always ends with an interrogation mark yes dear students what do you mean by interrogation mark interrogation mark means question mark this question mark is known as interrogation mark is sign ko hum interrogation mark bhi bolte hain aur hum is is mark ko क्वेश्चन मार्क भी बोलते हैं जो ये साइन है वी से इट क्वेश्चन मार्क और वी से इट 
and interrogation mark. So always a question ends with an interrogation mark. जब भी कोई भी क्वेश्चन होता है उसका जो एंड होता है वो किससे होता है विद दिस साइन दिस इज क्वेश्चन मार्क और वी कैन से इट एन इंटेरोगेशन मार्क फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेर डू यू लेव वॉट डू यू वॉन्ट हु आर यू वॉट इज योर name yes dear students you can see that all these are the questions these are the sentences which are asking something where do you live what do you want who are you what is your name all these are the questions so you can see that all these interrogative sentences are and then with the interrogation mark so these are the questions which are known as interrogative sentences now it's the turn to know about the imperative sentences imperative sentences an imperative sentence expresses an order or a request yes the sentence which expresses an order or a request is called imperative sentence means jo sentence hame ye batata hai ki us sentence ke dwara humne ya to order diya hai ya fir request kari hai we are ordering someone or we are requesting to someone to do something those sentences are known as imperative sentences an imperative sentence always ends with a full stop yes dear students jab bhi hum kisi imperative sentence ko likhte hain we end it with a full stop for example come here please go there bring a glass of water for me please give me this so these sentences are expressing order or the request so these are the imperative sentences children now look at the board to know about the exclamatory sentences an exclamatory sentence expresses a strong feeling jis sentence pe bolte time hamari koi strong feeling nikal ke aati hai hamari strong feeling ka pata chalta hai ki hum bahut cheez ko dekh ke khush ho rahe hain ya fir hum bahut surprise ho rahe hain us sentence ko bolte time hamare facial expressions badal jate hain ye maine likha hai yahan par अगर मैं ये कहूं कि बहुत सुंदर लिखा है दिस इज रिटन वेरी ब्यूटिफुली देन हाउ आई विल से वॉट अ ब्यूटिफुल हैंड राइटिंग एज देन फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन आर ऑल्सो चेंज वेन वी आर सरप्राइज और हैप्पी एंड वी आर स्पीकिंग टू सम वन इन सच अ वे दैट आर फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन आर ऑल्सो changed those sentences are known as exclamatory sentences student the main thing which you all always have to keep it in mind is that an exclamatory sentence ends with an exclamation mark koi bhi sentence jo exclamatory hota hai jiske andar hamari sudden feeling show ho rahi hoti hai at that time we always put the sign of exclamation at the end jab bhi hum koi exclamatory sentence likhte hain that sentence always ends with the sign of exclamation whenever we write an exclamatory sentence what we have to keep it in mind that is 
sign of exclamation at the end. So we can say an exclamatory sentence ends with an exclamation mark. Understand? Now you look at the example. What a good idea. Sign of exclamation. How well she dances. Sign of exclamation. Now how we will speak these sentences? What a good idea. How well she dances. Sudden feeling. So these sentences are the exclamatory sentences. So dear students, all four kinds of the sentences are explained. Now you have to complete the assignment in your English grammar notebook. Bye-bye. Have a nice time. Stay home. Stay safe. Take care of your health.